side. Okay. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the, uh, the two uh, protocols for uh, constructing uh, the internet and other networks. They are the TCP and the IP. Now, first of all, the TCP is a protocol in the transport layer of the OSI uh, model. Uh, it's, it's in layer 4. And its job is to divide, of, uh, let's just assume there are two workstations, as you can see, A and B. And workstation A wants to transfer a file to workstation B. So what the TCP does is it fragments the file into pieces so as to make it easier to uh, transfer data to, uh, to avoid any congestion of uh, bandwidth. And it also adds a certain number to the data so it can be reassembled uh, efficiently in the, other, in the uh, receiving uh, workstation. You can see. Let's just add numbers, 1 to 6. And then once the data is sent, once the second workstation receives the data, it, the numbers might be jumbled up like this, 3, 4, 2, 1, 6, 5. So what the, uh, what the TCP in the second workstation does is it reassembles it according to order. It sort of makes it, sort of makes it in order so as to reassemble. And voila, you have a reassembled packet. Uh, reassemble the file. And the other uh, uh, protocol is the IP, the Internet Protocol, which actually handles the transfer of data. Let's just assume that this is a file. It's defragmented into, uh, let's just say, six pieces. What the IP does is add, adds an address to each uh, packet so it can be delivered to the same place or different places and the packets are then sent oh, this would be the workstation A the, uh, the sending one and this would be workstation B This data is sent, is uh, is um, defragmented in workstation A, and it is sent to the workstation B. So what the IP does it it does is it selects the shortest route to send it to workstation B, so as to increase efficiency of data transfer. And let's just and this is just a scenario. Let's just assume that this uh, the data is sent, but there is a traffic jam here. The the the, the lines are congested. So what the IP does is, it looks for an alternative route so as to send the data more efficiently. So to sum up, basically the TCP and the IP work together to divide files into packets and send it to the other workstation. The IP handles the shortest route or sometimes an alternative route to send data. Uh, so it's a collaboration, none, cannot, none can do the job alone.